Hi, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com and today I'm going to speak about uh, a th sentence I'm really fed up to, to hear is uh, a good picture must tell a story and uh, I'm tired of hearing this let's start Every day we hear this, oh, a good picture must tell a story. No, not every picture needs to tell a story. This sentence was made for journalist photography or social photography, but not for everything. So I hear a lot of people for anything say, oh, a good picture must tell a story. Uh, today on Facebook, there's a guy who, who uh, uploaded, uh, published a picture uh, of uh, uh, a wire with a connector, a RJ45 uh, connector for network and uh, someone said oh, you shouldn't do that kind of pictures because uh, a good picture must tell a story and uh, an RJ45 connector will never say anything, never tell any story. So, so we stopped making uh, uh, product photography, we stop making many landscape photography, many uh, portrait photography doesn't tell any story. It can be a fantastic picture, picture, but it doesn't tell any story. So we stop doing this just because it doesn't tell a story. This is really, really, really stupid. So if we go back into uh, paint, painting instead of, uh, instead of photography, we'll speak about painting. And we're going to speak about Mona Lisa. Uh, uh, by uh, Leonardo uh, da Vinci. I think it's about 500 years old and for over 500 years we've been hearing every month or every week or every two months a new theory that she was his daughter, uh, she was uh, his wife, she was uh, his neighbor, she was uh, uh, his slave, uh, she was uh, she actually she was a, a boy and not a, and not a girl and she was an, a new theory every month. So. Honestly, if you think the Mona Lisa was telling a story, how come we don't know yet what story it is? Obviously, it doesn't tell any story. It maybe helps us imagine a story, but doesn't tell any story. If I speak about a mosquito, a macro photography of a mosquito, what story does it tell? That he's been uh, drinking human blood and now he's uh, sleeping siesta or something like this? If we speak about a small screw that appears in a mechanics catalog so you can uh, see exactly how the screw is and if it's the right reference and if you should order this screw to repair your car, what's the story in there? It's just reflecting, just reflecting a reference, illustrating uh, a, a small text that says uh, the screw is like this and that size or whatever. So people are really mixing up uh, everything first. Uh, one thing is to tell a story and something else is to transmit something. You, have, you can have a really great portrait and that you look at this portrait, it transmits you something. Or you look at the landscape, it transmits uh, something incredible. But it does not necessarily tell any story. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to tell any story. But it can be a great picture without telling anything. Just it transmits emotion. You can cry looking at this picture, you can laugh, or you can be scared, or you can feel disgusted, or whatever. But it doesn't mean that tells a story. It means it transmits. So these are com two complete differences. Uh, I think these people who are always speaking about like a good picture must tell a story. I think, I don't know what they smoke, honestly, but it must be good because they're really on a trip all the time. And uh, Today uh, I saw another picture of a, of a girl. She was hanging from the roof of a, from the ceiling, sorry, of a bus, and uh, with her hair falling like this. And then he turned the photographer turned the, the picture around, so the hair was like this, and the other way, like it was very strange. The picture was okay, and a guy commented, uh, "Were you experimenting, or uh, is there a message in this picture?" Why do you want a message in this picture? Do we need messages in every picture? Do we need some subliminal uh, sentence or, or thought uh, included in every picture? Of course not. A picture must be can be wonderful, can be really transmit something, or technically or emotionally, whatever, and without telling any story. It doesn't need to tell a story. And if we go back to documentary photography, um, 
my question is mm, if this picture tell a story by themselves why do they have a title why do they write a small sentence that describes what we sing if it was telling a story by itself you don't need any title you don't need any sentence you don't need any explanation you look at the picture and you know what it is and what happens is most of the time when you take any picture you show it to someone and say what this picture tells you it tells you a story and then another one different story another one different story and 10 people 10 stories so if you take another picture and you show to uh, 100 persons and they all see the same story this picture yes was telling a story the other didn't tell any story they just help you make up your story but it doesn't tell you any story obviously if every picture was telling a story there would be no title no sentence no explanation it would tell by itself so if your goal in photography is to uh, tell story with the picture first you might think that normally uh, this series of picture they go along with a text with an article or in a book and they just illustrate the text so obviously it is hard to uh, have the right picture that illustrates properly the story that's not easy but it doesn't mean this picture speak by themselves if you look at the picture of salgado uh, sebastian salgado they are wonderful pictures but if it doesn't tell you this is a, a mine in or a gold mine or a diamond mine in Brazil, you see kids that are there digging in a mine, but you don't know if it's diamond, you don't know if it's gold, and you don't know if it's in Brazil. So these pictures are wonderful, but it doesn't actually tell the story without the title. Are, are they, do we tell that Salgado these pictures are bad? These pictures are wonderful, but they don't tell the whole story by themselves they need something along with it and before wanting to tell stories with your picture first learn how to make pictures because i see many people especially when they're beginning someone has tell, told them you must tell a, a story so they have no clue about framing no clue about exposure no clue about anything and they try to tell a story first before trying to cook with caviar trying to fry an egg try to frame properly expose properly get the right thing the right moment all this so when you see a good story you will be there and what is a good story a story must be some kind of universal why because stories they may be a good story but even if you make great pictures they don't interest anyone this story weddings you can have wonderful picture of the father looking at his daughter with a tear here or people jumping laughing whatever and a part of this maybe 10 pictures 20 pictures in the whole uh, wedding reportage uh, actually only the family and the the, the groom and the bride uh, will be happy about this picture people who are not at that wedding wedding or people who don't know this family they don't see any interest in this story because it's a private story there is no interest so even if we speak about uh, pictures uh, for an article uh, i don't know for example uh, whatever uh, miners in uh, such country if you don't feel any interest in what they're doing picture may be wonderful may say, oh, great picture but the story don't give a damn i'm not interested in this story so th this is telling a story you don't tell anything it's not your story you just cover someone else's story and people many photographers forget about this their picture don't tell their story their picture is a witness of someone else's story and it doesn't mean this is easy but they should relax their ego and think about this is not their story they reflect someone else's story but what you realize also is that uh, if 10 people see the same picture or same series of picture and uh, they all uh, without any information and they all start to tell you oh this uh, series of photo tells this story and someone else tells a different story is that bad no it means your picture actually help them imagine and build their own their own story it doesn't mean the picture is bad 
actually it means they did transmit some emotion or something that made them think about your picture and imagine like you see this uh, couple uh, on, on the train station and you see the picture and you think well have they just met after traveling or uh, they just uh, is going away and uh, she's staying or the other way around or or they go together to get the train or just they've just stepped out of the train and you build your own story you build your own story thanks to the, this picture that was made as a good picture and it helps you start imagine and, and this is a good start if your picture help imagine this is great uh, they, they don't need actually to tell the true story or the real story with uh, transmitting something that makes you think this is or make you imagine this is already a first great step so then you realize that these people see a story imagine a story with your picture so actually what your picture are doing is they help they help them build their own story with your picture but this is not your story this is their story based on your picture and this is something great but if really you feel like you would like to tell stories I think you should not uh, do photography you should do video the documentary video or imaginary video or cinema or write books because then you can really write uh, the story you actually want to transmit and uh, the typical sentence that says a picture is worth a thousand words it's not true it may be true but it's not always true if I call a computer engineer and I say I've got a problem with my computer maybe I try to explain he says no make a picture of your screen and uh, send it to me then he looks at the picture say yeah yeah this is wrong this is this blah, 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 and then he fixes it without me explaining more and just tell me do that do that and that's fixed but can you imagine with one picture of a person coming out of a hospital and that picture would say uh, this guy uh, just come out of the hospital actually three months ago he fell he broke his leg uh, he got uh, infected he had to cut it and he was three months in hospital and today is coming out what picture can tell that story none none so it all depends on the story it also depends on the thousand words uh, you want to include into one picture sometimes it's plainly impossible plainly impossible so uh, if you really want to tell stories maybe you should write books or make cinema or video that would be more logical my conclusion is please stop telling all the time a good picture tells a story because this is not always true it's actually very rare that a picture tells a story really rare it helps you think of a story but doesn't tell the real story second first learn how to make picture to be ready when you meet a story to capture it and reflect it in your pictures and uh, last i think most important when you hear someone look at your picture and say comment that uh, uh, your picture no good because it doesn't tell any story don't listen to them your picture must be your picture may be a great picture without telling a story it can be a great macro photography it can be a great portrait can be a great landscape a great many things it doesn't tell any story but still a great picture so most of these people that go this way like they want to be like some kind of artist i don't know what they, they, they just want to make you feel less don't listen to them feel what you've done feel the picture you do be happy with what you do better your transmission of emotion if the subject is down to emotion uh, if we speak about the screw for the mechanics there's no emotion there but yes there is technique technique there it is important that the picture must be perfect the depth of field perfect the lighting perfect and you transmit on information which is is it the right screw for this car so honestly don't listen to these people that always tell you a good picture must tell a story so I hope you like this video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The small button down here is also a small bell. If you click on it, you'll get a notification when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below or send me an email to info at ericgibo.com. And below, I also put links of my gear on Amazon and also links to other parts of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.